Welcome back to another fresh pair of jugs, pair of to another fresh pair of warm jugs filled with money. To another fresh pair of tits. Shit. Had enough of this bullshit. Fresh pair of warm tits. Fuck. To another fresh warm jug of breast of breast breast milk. And to another fresh pair of jugs filled with warm milk. Darth News. Fucking piece of shit. Mother. Welcome back to another car crash in slow motion. I'm your host, Dark. Okay, this is my last, my last attempt at this intro. All right, I'm not doing it again, dude. Just press record. Are you? You're recording again? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a fresh new pair of jugs filled with warm milk. I'm your host, Darth, and today we're gonna get into uh, Darth, Darth News. The Welcome back to another, I, I room to another fresh booby filled with warm milk. I'm your host, Darth, and today in Darth News, we have a very important headline to get to. This is breaking news. Marvel TV to shut down. Current series are now folded into Marvel Studios, which means all of your favorite Marvel TV shows will be no more. They're gone. Poof. Thanos snapped. I can't snap, they're, they're gone. Let's continue reading. The article goes on to say, from Deadline, by the way, this article is from Deadline, and it is by Dominic Patton and Neil An Andrivia. Neil Andrivia and, and Dominic Patton. So it took two people to write one article. Great. The article goes, Marvel television as we've known in the past decade will be no more. Nope, it's gone. Twiddles. With its slate dwindling over the past year and its head, Jeff Leob, set to depart, the television is now fo the television focused Marvel division will now be phased out. The Marvel TV projects that are currently in production will continue, but any further development is now being scrapped. As a result, a significant portion of the unit staff are being laid off. Fuck you, Marvel. Fuck you, Marvel. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, it's not okay. That's really not okay. So they're laying people. So they're laying people off. Multi, 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 multi billion dollar company is laying people off. Okay, okay Disney, Marvel. Whatever you, whatever you say. This is bullshit. This is total bullshit. You you could re, you could redistribute them into different areas of your studio. This is you don't need to lay anybody off. What? Why? Why? Oh, Marvel's TV's SVP current programming and production, Kareem Zriek, and a member of his team will join Marvel Studios Group to oversee the remaining Marvel TV shows already on the books and on the go. Oh, that includes the announced four animated series in the live action of Hellstrom for Hulu and the last season of ABC's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which will still be made. Other Marvel TV staffers are being reassigned, sources said. Okay, so they're reassigning some of them, uh, but then they're laying off probably most of them. Just like what happened when, the, uh, when Disney bought over uh, Fox. I think it was like 4,000 people got laid off without severance. The announcement back in October, oh, sorry. <clears throat> the decision has been made to complete Marvel TV projects that are currently in production, but not continue with any further development, noted the TV division Thursday. Today's news follows months of turmoil and uncertainty at the Marvel TV, with a number of animated and live action shows teetering or now being canned. The exit of a longtime small screen chief Lib, Leob is a gentleman's name, the, the chief, his name is Chief Leob, uh, and further expansion of big screen boss Kevin Feige's feed, feed them. This is why you should never have two people write an article. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I've lost it. I'm just so mad. The announcement back in late October that the four-time Eisner Award winner and veteran producer Leob would be officially out the door and at the end of the year for now seems but m I can't read would be out the door 
at the end of the year now seems but one of many dominoes to fall on Marvel TV. One further wrinkle in today's news is that Leo might be around a bit longer than expected, and he is said to be on the decks for the handover. So as they transition, I'm assuming what they're gonna do is put everything, everything that's that's in in uh, on Marvel TV right now and put that all over the Disney Streaming Plus. Or I don't know, probably something similar to that, that take though. The article goes on to say, it's a handover with a lot of blood on its hands, so to speak. As the Clark Gregg led Shield heads towards its last season on ABC, the planned Ghost Rider spinoff series for Hulu has now put the brakes on and has had the brakes on hold since September of the cancellation of Cloak and Dagger. After two seasons of Freeform came out the next month and the final season of The Runaways is launching on the Disney controlled streaming this week. With no new shows on Netflix after Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and The Punisher were all canceled over the last year and a bit of Marvel TV saw the Hulu setup coming upcoming animated Chelsea Handler voice, fuck Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler voiced E.P. Ept. Tigra and Dazzler are now put on hold also earlier this month. With the department showrunner Erica Rejovanovia and the staff writers due to the old chestnut of creative differences. So this is just a clusterfuck. Additionally, in what could have been a creative lifeline for the TV unit, new upcoming original Marvel shows on the recently launched Disney Plus streaming service like Wakanda Vision and The Falcon and Winter Soldier have already been placed under Feig's mandate before he was anointed Chief Creative Officer in December. So uh, yeah, it looks like some shows are gonna jump over to Disney Plus and some shows are just gonna be getting the ax. The good old uh, I think this is a, a bad, bad move on, on, on Disney Marvel. Uh, this is a terrible, well, okay, here, let's read the comments. Let's see what people have said. Okay, uh, this is from Anonymous. Marvel's death, spirals what, Marvel's death spiral widens. Watching this bubble burst is going to be fun. <laughs> I agree. Death spiral equals biggest movie of all time. Okay, Boomer. Are you expecting the movies to start doing much smaller numbers at the box office? I think they will substantially be smaller now that you've added these shows into Disney+. Plus. I think maybe like people are going to watch Disney+, Plus now, so why go see your movies? It's like, because they're making movie quality, movie theater quality shit now. Like, have you seen The Mandalorian? They could, if they made that into a movie, it for sure could be in theaters. The quality of their stuff is good, but it's like, why would people waste, if it's gonna be on Disney Plus three months after it gets out of theaters, why would anyone go see it in theaters? Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, another from Anonymous. This is perhaps the dumbest take of all time. Agreed. Chris said, no, I don't wanna read, cri cri that's, I can't, I uh, can't read that. I'm surprised that got approved on, I can't believe that actually is not deleted. Oh, uh, okay. They produced some of my favorite TV shows over the last five years, including Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Daredevil, and Jessica Jones. I'm going to miss them, but now, fuck Disney. Yep, that's what he said. Uh, <clears throat> this news felt like a punch in the gut, but not a total shock either, since Jeff Leb, Leob, I'm saying that name so wrong, but I'm going to call him Jeff, J okay, look, this is how you spell Jeff. J E P H J E P Jeff. That's gotta be a J that's Jeff, right? That's just some pretentious fucking asshole that has his parents and had to spell Jeff completely different. That makes no sense. Okay, but Jeff uh, priorly announced his departure. RIP Marvel TV. Yes, indeed, Marvel TV is now dead. Yes, the Disney Plus shows are still being released. They are being produced by Marvel Studios instead of Marvel TV. So they're just scrapping Marvel. Okay, so I get it now. There's Marvel Studios and Marvel TV. And Marvel Studios is just taking the gun to the back of Marvel TV's head and pulling the trigger. Well, that's all I got for today. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, don't forget to pull out.